Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about engineering majors and a little bit talk about their profession. Question, who work in a hospital? So why ask you this question for hospital? Because this is a more sensible, I can say question. So in hospital, I ask a student, how many doctors they work in a hospital? Usually the answer is three doctors. Okay. If three doctors work in a hospital out of 100 employees, who are other people who work in a hospital? I see many students, they say nurses. So 20 nurses, they work in a hospital. Who are the other people? So if you look into that, you can see doctors are the highest level in a hospital. Then after doctors or nurses, then you can go all the way down into their archive for accounting that they are collecting monies. They are secretaries. There are lots of receptionists. There's the guy who is doing radiology. So in, into this example, I'm gonna refer the same example to a factory. So let's say who works in a factory. You can't say all the people that they work in a factory, they are engineers. No, obviously only two or three engineers are there. Who are the second level or the third level of people that they work with engineers? Obviously, we know the guy who is doing the assembly. So if in, in the same factory, I can say 20 to 25 people are worker, or I can say assembler, or they are trade, simply. So who are the people that they work between these two? In the example of hospital is more sensible no nurses the second level are engineering technologies after engineering technologies are the are the people who fixing the robots so those are technologies and then this is how it works. I, I, I'm going to show you something like in a, in a colorful way. So at Henry Ford College, we offer all sorts of different degrees. The core degree is engineering, which is in, in our program is pre-engineering. So if you are in pre-engineering degree, this degree will lead into a four-year degree in engineering. Engineering technology can be either associate degree or it can be a bachelor degree. The third level are technology, technology or associate degree. So technologies are, I can tell you, um, a degrees look like a person who is doing a CAD, who is doing a 3D design, a guy who is doing, who work as, as a control specialist that fixing robots in industry and something like that. And then the very last level are skill trade. Now, if you look into the graph, you can see as you go from engineering to skill trades, there is more hands-on. At the same time, there's less math requirement. What would happen is that uh, your salary obviously drops if you go from engineering to engineering technology and all the way to trade. But again, we need all sorts of career for us to work. It's the same example uh, in a factory. We need all these sorts of careers. So if you are looking into engineering only, open your mind into a variety of people that you may work with them. Like all community colleges, Henry Ford College offer degrees that those degrees lead into transfer. So for instance, I can say in engineering, we have two types of degree, an associate in engineering technology and associate in pre-engineering. So in both degrees, you take a bunch of, I can say, preparatory courses that make you ready for a four-year degree. The difference is that engineering technology is more hands-on, so you can actually find a career with your associate too, or you can transfer. You can transfer to schools. At this moment, uh, we have good agreement with Wayne State that we signed just something recently that you can transfer up to 88 credits to Wayne State and then to Eastern Michigan University. In the pre-engineering side of it, you can transfer to any schools. 
but right now we have a good agreement with University of Michigan Dearborn that allow you to transfer up to 72 credits. So what are the difference between engineering and engineering technology? So the difference between these two is that engineers is the guy who do more thinking. So more application of mathematics and science. They develop these uh, devices, processes, structure and systems. So, and then they conduct design and analysis. So if you end up as an engineer, you would sit in an office usually. So the types of work is that those are office types of work. And then you work with a team of people. That team could be from five people up to 200 people, 1,000 people, depending on how large the R&D sector for that manufacturing or for that industry is. Engineering technology is, is the job between engineering and the technicians. So if you look into here, a technician is a person who fixes stuff, engineer who is the guy who doing the thinking. So engineering technology is a combination of these two person. Um, I can say the good thing is that it is more hands-on if you like hands-on and then it has less mathematic requirement compared to engineering. Uh, but uh, I can say the same salary. So the dollar wise is the same between these two. Uh, the only issue that at this moment we face uh, is that not every places they accept engineering technology as a qualification. So um, I can say R&D sectors in, in, the, in the big three uh, this they don't accept engineering technologies other than that uh, it's a good degree but again if you don't like mathematics or you cannot actually do mathematics that will be a good option Michigan Department of Technology Management and Budget they released a document called Michigan Hot 50 Jobs so this document that right now you can see on the screen is between 2016 and 2026. I'm looking into what engineering major are included in these 50 hot jobs. I can see civil engineering from here. Okay, civil engineering is here. The growth of it is 16.8%. So you need to have a bachelor degree and a license. The license called professional engineering designation. The second degree that you can see here for engineering is electrical engineering. The growth of it is 13%. You need to get a bachelor degree and a license. License is not very mandatory for electrical engineering unless you work in related to project related to public. Looking down here, I can see industrial engineering, another major. The growth of it is 18%. You need to get bachelor degree and licensing. This licensing for industrial engineering or more in-house types of licensing uh, related to Six Sigma or I can say more related to quality. Down here I can see mechanical engineering which is 15% of growth and then you need bachelor degree and license. Other than that, not other engineering majors are listed among the 50 hot jobs. So computer engineering obviously is with the electrical engineering. So if you see somewhere software engineering or computer engineering, they are included in electrical engineering. Other than this major, if you select a major which is not right now, uh, within the next 10 years, they are not, I can say, in demand. So that will be a problematic issue.